Hunter Biden, son of President Joe Biden, will be arraigned on federal firearms charges in Delaware, marking a historic moment as the first child of a sitting president to face criminal charges in court. The charges include lying on firearm forms and possessing a firearm while using illicit drugs. This comes amidst an impeachment inquiry into President Biden regarding allegations of profiting from his son's foreign business deals without direct evidence provided by Republicans. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker and Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson pressed White House officials to address the migrant crisis, fearing a breaking point. They expressed concern over Texas Governor Greg Abbott potentially doubling the migrant numbers in Chicago, especially with winter approaching. Pritzker wrote to President Biden, demanding federal intervention at the border. The issue highlights tensions over the growing migrant influx and strains Democratic alliances. Chicago, set to host the Democratic Convention, anticipates heightened migrant influx due to Republican governor's actions. The White House cited ongoing engagement and $46 million grants to support migrants. Bangladesh grapples with its most severe dengue outbreak surpassing 1,000 fatalities and infecting over 208,000 individuals since January. Rising temperatures driven by climate change have expanded the outbreak beyond urban centers for the first time. The prolonged monsoon season created ideal breeding conditions for the Aedes mosquito, transmitting the disease. Hospitals face strain due to the influx of patients, posing concerns about the outbreak continuing into cooler months. Dengue, a viral infection, causes flu-like symptoms and can be fatal. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, implicated in Jamal Khashoggi's murder, has seen a remarkable rehabilitation of his image and regime. Despite initial condemnations, successive U.S. presidents, Trump and Biden, prioritized economic and security interests over human rights concerns. Trump was unabashedly transactional, while Biden, though expressing human rights commitments, has pursued similar paths in dealing with the Saudi regime. The Khashoggi case highlights enduring U.S.-Saudi alliances, often overshadowing democratic principles. The tropical storm Philippe is gradually approaching the Leeward Islands, posing risks of heavy rain, flooding, and strong winds. The storm on its westward path since September 23rd is predicted to strengthen into a hurricane over the open Atlantic later in the week. With this development, the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season is now officially classified as above normal, with 18 named storms so far, exceeding the typical count of 14 for a season. The United States initiated the seventh and largest iteration of maritime training activity Sama Sama 2023 with Philippine allies and several international partners. The exercises off the Philippine coast encompass anti-submarine, surface and air warfare, and land phases, Tensions are rising between Manila and Beijing over South China Sea territorial disputes, making regional stability a priority. Participants from Australia, Canada, France, Japan, the United Kingdom, and Malaysia join the US and the Philippines, aiming to enhance security collaboration and readiness. India has instructed Canada to repatriate 41 diplomats by October 10, due to tensions related to the murder of Sikh separatist leader Hardeep Singh Niger in Canada. Canada suspects Indian involvement, leading to strained ties. India denied the allegations and threatened to revoke diplomatic immunity for non-compliance. Currently with 62 diplomats in India, Canada is urged to reduce the total to 21 intensifying the diplomatic discord. Both countries' foreign ministries have yet to respond. As the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics approach, the city faces a bedbug invasion impacting hotels, transportation, and public spaces. Reports of bedbugs in metro trains, movie theaters, and high-speed trains have prompted concern among travelers. Bedbugs were even discovered on a passenger ferry traveling to Morocco from Marseille, prompting disinfection procedures. Parisian authorities are alarmed about the potential risk to Olympic visitors and urge a nationwide plan to address this public health issue. Transport Minister Claw Copyright Ment Bone is set to meet with transportation operators to address traveler concerns. Pope Francis has hinted at the possibility of Catholic priests granting blessings to individuals in same-sex unions on a case-by-case -case basis. In response to queries from conservative cardinals, the Pope emphasized that the Church solely recognizes marriage as between a man and a woman but acknowledged the request for blessings as a prayer for assistance. This stance seemingly contrasts with his previous assertion that the church could not bless same-sex unions. 
Additionally, he reiterated the church's stance against ordaining women. Russian penal units, known as Storm Z squads, reportedly include drunk recruits, insubordinate soldiers, and convicts sent to Ukraine's front lines this year. Based on insider information, these individuals, often deemed expendable, rarely survive combat. An anonymous soldier revealed mistreatment and highlighted how those associated with alcohol were promptly dispatched to Storm Z units. The Kremlin referred inquiries to the Defense Ministry, which didn't provide a response. The UN Security Council voted to send a Kenyan-led armed force to Haiti, a first in 20 years. The move aims to combat escalating gang violence and bolster security for overdue elections. The force will deploy for a year, reviewed after nine months, funded through voluntary contributions. The U.S. pledged up to $200 million. Haiti's request for intervention came amid the struggling National Police Force. Deployment details are yet to be finalized. Nine-year-old Charlotte Senna, missing during a New York State Park camping trip, was found safe after her parents received a ransom note. The suspect was identified via fingerprints on the note and tracked down using cell phone pings. The child was found hidden in a camper cabinet. Charges are expected for the 47-year-old suspect who resisted arrest. The rescue was aided by diligent law enforcement work and community cooperation.